Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing amazing and I am pink of health. So today we will learn the difference between validation and validation group. So most of the people get confused when uh, we use this validation group. Why do we use this validation group and what is the purpose of using validation group, including me to be honest. So today I am here to uh, you know clear up all the confusions. So without wasting further more time, let's get right into the video. So as you all can see, I already have an interface, okay, where we have two fields. One is for name and the other one is for phone number. Okay, then we can see these two buttons. One is for order for me and the other one is for order for my friend. Okay, so when I'm ordering for myself, I just have to provide the number. Sorry, I just have to provide the name. But when I am ordering for my friend, I have to provide the name and the phone number okay along with the phone number okay so name is anywhere mandatory field i will have to provide the name irrespective of the button click okay so let's see what it does here okay so i have provided a name okay when i click on my order for my friend button let's see what it does so it says please enter your phone number without showing me that required mark field are you getting my point it's not showing that required mark free okay so because it's not a good way to show a uh, require mark when the field is required only on the certain conditions okay so this field is required only when i'm ordering for my friend so it's, it's not a good way to show that mark field okay so if you provide validation group for any fields in the form or section then it will not show any mark for those field labels but it will validate them when you click on the button which is related to the validation group so this is this button order for my friend is related to the validation group okay now let me click on order for me disappeared right because I don't have to provide the phone number right so let's see what it does so it's basically uh, we basically use this um, validation group when we have you know two buttons and uh, on click of a particular button we want this validation to be uh, appear and on click of that button we want this validation to be appear okay so let's get right into the video now sorry let's get right into the code now okay so what I have done here this is uh, a name field okay there is nothing new I just have this require field and validation okay uh, we have to focus on this field phone number so I have this require field true see even after having this parameter it wasn't showing me uh, that required uh, mark right let me show you that again see there is no required mark okay so required message please enter your phone number I have to provide this uh, message okay and validation so I have this validation in place which says if the phone number the length uh, of the digits is greater than 10 it should say it should say uh, invalid number else nothing okay now I'm using this validation group phone number okay so when I want to uh, uh, when I want this field to be validated when I click on this order my order for my friend okay only when I want this field this phone number to be validated okay so I am using the same validation group over here order for my friend button see as you can see phone number okay can you see now I don't have to use this validation to open uh, this order for me okay so I'm using that validation group over here are you getting my point this is why it is validating on click of this this is validating this phone number field on click of this order for my friend and if you look at this code order for me button there is no such parameter called validation group in here okay so I will have to use the same validation group which I am using in this field over here over in my button okay that's why it is validating on click of this order for my friend 
now when i click on order for my friend i am uh, 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 storing the value as false because order for me is not true order for my friend is true so i'm just storing order for my order for me is as false can you see now let me click uh, on this order for me okay order for me is true and when i click on order for my friend okay let me just provide the number hmm. order for my friend order for me has become now false that means i am ordering for my friend i am not ordering for myself i am ordering for my friend cool so uh, what else i have to show as part of this validation group i think that's all and here for order for me i am just storing the value as true value true okay and now let me show you all a quick thing okay so now i am going to use this validation message in my name field as well okay so validation group uh, name okay now i'll use the same validation group in my order for me uh, button okay so what i'm trying to do here is when i click on order for me button okay uh, i will when i click on order for my friend i will not provide any name but when i click on order for me button i will have to provide name but not the phone number okay and vice versa so uh, i will have to provide the validation message as well required message please enter your name cool yeah so let me test this out yeah now if i click on order for me i have to just provide the name okay this is not a required field anymore okay and when i click on order for my friend i don't have to provide the name but the phone number okay let's see order for my friend it's showing validation only on this message because there is a validation group phone number and the same is being used on this order for my friend button okay i only want to validate this field phone number field when i click on order for my friend and i want to validate this name field when i click on order for me now let me click on order for me button see it's showing validation for this field but not for phone number i think now you guys are getting my point right now let me provide some name test maybe okay click on order for me it hasn't throw it hasn't thrown uh, any validation for phone number right now when i click on order for my friend at the same time it's throwing validation for please enter your phone number i can provide the name okay it's 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 not a uh, you know it's not an issue but if i if i don't provide the phone number it will ask for me to provide the phone number if i'm ordering for my friend see invalid number because the length is uh, it cannot be longer than 10 digits so order for my friend yes right now if i remove the name let's see what happens it will not uh, throw any validation see right yeah i hope you guys have understood the difference uh, of these two validation groups uh, and validations as to when we use uh, uh, this is an interview question and uh, if you want more such videos uh, please like my video uh, share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any uh, questions related to this validation group do drop your comments below in the comment section and yes i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye